All right. We've stopped along the road, Route 66, to just a random spot with just a ton of material. All kinds of stuff laying around. I know there's some chapinite here, there's some jasper. We'll see what else we got. Get back to you if we find something. And we spotted something here. What's known as a Chalcedony or Chalcedony Rose. Cool. So, we got a piece of Chapinite. Another piece of Chapinite. Some red jasper, pretty small. A little brown jasper, also pretty small. Let me Get another shape and I. Believe it or not, these polish up really nice. This orange color is for the most part desert varnish. Some of it will come off, but there's a way to, um, to tumble these in medium or fine over and over again. And then uh, you can keep some of that orange color sometimes. Well now, what do we have here? I'm pretty sure this is the very top point of an ancient pyramid. It probably goes down a thousand feet. You can see how it just keeps going. I'm not going to continue digging. I'll end up digging here for years. We'll leave that for a future archaeologist. What? Well, we didn't get a whole lot of video footage from this location. I think this might be another site that we might want to explore a little bit more. Perhaps find a spot to camp out for a night or two. But of course, we do have some roundup footage. The Chapinite here can be pretty good. And I'm sure with a little further exploration, there's probably some real nice material waiting for us. Another Chapinite. A lot of Chapinite over there. You'll see when I show the tumblers off. Here's three, uh, they kind of look like the same stuff. I, I don't know what that is. We'll be cutting it though, and we'll find out. A couple more Chapinites. Um, strange. 
strange one here too. It's kind of cool. All right. Route 66, location one. That's all we're calling that one. Okay, let's go look at the tumblers. All right, here's all the tumblers from Route 66, location one. I picked up mostly Chapinite, but there was there was all kinds of stuff out there. I love these little Chapinites. I've got them before from that location and uh, tumbled them. I've even polished up one into a cab. It polishes very nice. Looks cool. It keeps those orange patterns. Yeah, looking forward to doing these too. Another addition to the awesome field trip we had out there. Yeah. So, after that fairly quick stop, we rolled on over across the highway to uh, Sleeping Beauty Hill. That's that's all I can call it right now. We're up high today. Earlier, we were way over there. So pickings are a little bit different here. We're gonna have to work for it. Could be on any of these hills. Definitely stuff back in there. We're in the Sleeping Beauty little mountain range. And, uh, oh, look at up there. There's probably some stuff up there, but. I don't believe I'm climbing up there right now. Okay, so, so up here it's sort of like being on the back of the moon. Very interesting area. Haven't found much yet though, but it's cool just being in a place like this. said before it's probably all up there but I really don't want to go up there but you never know let's see all right so here's the only one that's really worthy of mention from the uh, the top of the hill there at Sleeping Beauty nice looking if, it, if that goes all the way through or even a little ways through we can, we can cut that so, all right that's that's it we stopped up at the top there for uh for lunch now we've come down from that hill and have come up through a small wash to an area just to the southwest of our final destination of the day which will be the mustard river Not very 
big. This is a very big one. Ah, why do you see it over there? It's insane. Like Ulex site. Yes, that's what it's like. That's what TV is like. Yeah. Oh, the mine is up here. Firewood. There are all sorts of, okay, all of those white shows up there are possible agate veins. It's ash. Well, you see the white coming down? That's ash. That's red. You can uh, look at it if you like, but it goes a ways, but not too far. As you can tell, because there's no slap back. Where did I go? You can get, if you are fortunate, you can get pods of um, the rainbow moss agate. Wow. See where? Okay. Is it dug to it in here? Yeah. The pods of moss agate. But there is an easier place. Kids, this is why they put a fence up. Yeah. My younger days, I'd be fine. I'd be in there. Uh, before I lost the foot. I mean, the toes, rather. I went down there and I got some really, really, really excellent. What do you, you go in there and break it out of the vein or? Uh, out of this side where the green ochre is. Oh, okay. Here, and, and in like that. Yeah, but there are, there are places you can find it on the surface if you know what to look for. Yeah, you can do all sorts of dumb things, can't you? Yeah, this is this. Uh, well, some people have been. Yeah, first time I came out, I thought it was satin spar out here. Uh huh. But it's uh, after doing the, the research. That piece I that found he found the truth. That piece yeah. that he's got over there is not ulexite. It's no, it's not ulexite. It's not um, satin spar gypsum. It is stone to unite. But you also may find talc. Uh, you may find some soapstone here and there. I've gotten some good pieces of soapstone. On the other side, and my guess is if it looks like somebody's been digging up there on top of it, they're uh, doing new digging recently that they've been going after soapstone. Chris, do you want to um, yeah. say that one more time to the, uh, the folks? This is ochre. This is iron oxide of a particular electron valence. Uh, more than that, and then we get into a real lecture. Yeah. At this point, though, we get all sorts of different uh, colors of ochre, different electron valence. 
What do people, what do some of the people use this for? Ah, for this, making your own paint. Ah. Yes, take it home, use linseed oil or, or some other good oil that won't go rancid quickly. Mix it in and you can make a paint. Uh, this is also has trontianite in it, so it stabilizes nice and easy. Oh, excellent. You're not going to have to, to uh, shake the paint all the time. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Why, well, it's like a little canyon of different ochre shades here on the left. Uh, notice the folks up ahead. They've just walked over something. Oh, look at that. Yep, yep. In the ochre, you'll find these pieces of wildly colored deep green base uh, jasper. Lovely stuff. Um, what most people who just walk through here don't know is if you go around the end and up top on the north side, you'll find a whole bunch of this. Closer your vehicles will be closer. But I like to show people the there's a little bitty rattler right here where we're at. Okay. A baby. Okay. I don't know exactly what kind this is. He's a baby. He's only looks like he's only about eight inches long. A couple people walked right over him. Does he appear to be alive? He's alive. Okay. Yeah, his tail, his tongue is sticking out. So. He's smelling us. Yep. So, people, the pathway is right here. You see between these two bushes, uh, people walked right over him. So. She's not big enough to get into it. You have to climb up your shoe. Yeah. I have a strict policy of leaving these guys alone. Me too. We're rock hounds and we're always reaching into the bushes and behind rocks and into cracks. So if you treat these wild animals right, especially these venomous ones, uh, maybe chances are the universe won't let you get bit. So keep that in mind. We have to remember we are in his house. Yeah, we're in his house. Just documenting it. He's cute. Yeah. Make sure it exists. No, you put it on. Didn't put make any noise YouTube. when we walked by. He was coiled up. He's only about eight inches long. Yeah, you put it on YouTube, and you can hopefully let people understand the danger without them being freaked. So, we made it over here. We came back from that area right over there. Getting around, went around the outside. Now, here we are at the famous, amongst us rock hounds anyway, Ribbon Jasper Deposit which is known in local terms as the Mustard River. It used to be very uh, prominent here. Uh, people have done an excellent job of digging it out and uh, any further work on this area we'll have to see. Yeah. Let's see what they... Oh, that's still a nice... Oh, that's plenty big. Look at that. Yeah, it's big enough to. Yep. But I'd like to have one about. Uh, come to the yard. Two feet long. And come to the yard. I'll be <laughs> glad to sell you one. You look around. You might pick one up here today. Yep. Yeah, and what you have to do is you go through, and find big pieces that people have have buried and walked over here in. All right. All of this overburden. So I'm gonna get on this, everyone, and. Uh, We'll look at them all in the wrap up. How about that? All right, so I found this one right here in the roadway. I dug it up 
Didn't think it was going to be this quick. Let's go here. It's big. <sighs> Just going to take you on a little tour on the top of this this giant hill of Jasper. You can see how big it is by the road. And it's just all through here. You couldn't grab all this stuff in a lifetime if you tried. That one I'll take. There's agate up here too. I'm gonna get some of that. Get a little bit of everything. Just showing. But we still have light. It's just amazing. Just amazing. Right here. We're up on the sides right here. And digging in to this little you can see there's just endless amounts of stuff here that looks kind of nice Film it. Okay. Jasper. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. We have a winner right here. This is Jaspicate in its finest form. Okay, it's in a really nice form.
Okay. All right, looks like Chris has found something. Beautiful jazz bag. This is some of the best of the material that comes out of here. This will cut fantastic stones. Oh, yeah. Couldn't be more pleased. Nice. Well, I could if it was a lot bigger. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Yeah. Well, okay. That was something. As the sun makes its way down, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to the old Mustard River. Go get some Indian food. Oh, yeah. So, this pile is just not going away for many, many, many years. Try to make it out here sometime. It's totally worth it. Shadows grow long on Sleeping Beauty. We're gonna bail out of here while we still got the light. The road is not terrible, but it's squishy. So, we'll see you at the next one. Bye for now. All right, so here's, this is all, uh, some of the fantastic stuff from the Mustard River. Here's that first good size one we picked up right there in the parking area. It seems to have broken in half somehow. And, uh, you know, it looks kind of kind of ordinary until you look in there and see some of the, these green gems. Very curious to see what that is. It's clear. Could just be green agate nodules, but uh, we're going to investigate a little farther. There's some red agate going on in there. And they're just gonna cut it up. There's a lot of crust on these on these items from the mustard river. Look at that. Here's a big jaspicate. Big sucker. Look at how big that is. You saw me digging out these. That's a big solid, it looks like a rock, but it's an agate. Here's a piece of the, uh, another piece of that jaspicate. Big flat slice. Other big one over there. Here's a that one we dug out of the side. Yeah, once we clean these up, get the crust off of them. Yeah, these are these are all pretty good. Look at that one. Here's a pretty cool one right here. Um, nice agate, nice agate material there. It seems to be like some kind of a, like a piece off of a nodule or something. And that's what it looks like inside. I, I don't know, tumble that whole thing and see what it comes out. See how it comes out. Another agate inside the crust. I believe 
that's a piece off of that, that big one there. Another very cool golden spider veined agate. All courtesy of the Mustard River. Sleeping Beauty, Mustard River. There's some mustard right there, as a matter of fact. tumblers here's some of the mustard hill tumblers I'm sorry mustard river sleeping beauty mustard river Awesome patterns in here. Stuff tumbles up really nice too and it polishes up well. I really hope you're enjoying these field trip episodes. Stay tuned for my final part in this Thanksgiving Odyssey. Next stop is the Lavic Siding and Crayon Canyon. And by the way, another creature made a quick cameo while we were out there. Be sure and check that out too. Bye for now.